All right, welcome back, Cyber Traders, on this lovely Thursday. Hopefully, everybody's getting excited. I guess I got some bad news that came up. Our mayor here, our governor here in New York, is only allowing us 10 people for Thanksgiving. Gee, what do you know? I don't know. I think anyone's going to really pay attention. I think there'll be a lot of people going to probably do it, but um, it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. 10 people on Thanksgiving is going to be really hard for us. I don't know about how, what's going on in your neck of the woods, but... I guess COVID has been a lot more serious, a lot more worse. Uh, as a trader, I'm going to look at how I could profit from it and benefit from it. Because there's going to be some stocks that might have something to do with it. Remember, we always kind of look at it. I told you with the election coming up, and you know that every webinar that we've been doing has been very, very uh, heavily geared around what was going on in election. Well, now the election is, well, technically it's not over because um, they're still doing counting. And, you know, you have President Trump that's contesting it but now you still have covid they said covid the second time around is supposed to be worse so now you have these governors stepping in so you can see a lot of stuff going on and let me tell you i have i live here in new york i don't know where, where i'm most of you around the world but you know what new york is really well known for our restaurants and i know so many people in the restaurant business um a lot of my friends own some of the biggest ones you know what they could be if there's any public ones out there they're going to be big shorts uh, real estate is taking a big hit, and I don't know if they could survive another shutdown. You know, unfortunately, a catastrophe like that's going to make maybe make an opportunity for us. So we're going to go out there. We're going to see if we can find some of them. As of right now, I don't really see anything uh, in that industry yet. But until it comes into effect, especially this time of the year in New York, it's probably is one of the best times of the year to come to New York because it's Christmas city. You know, uh, the tree, the the the. Um, I don't even know how they're going to do the, the ball drop this year. I still don't figure out that what's going to happen. Um, you got the ball drop. Uh, you got the uh, Rockefeller Center. You got the theater district. And these restaurants really depend on that. It's about 750,000 employees that are employed by restaurants here in New York. So that's a lot of employees when you really think of it. So anyway, um, your friend Michael, uh, great restaurant. Lita, oh, oh, Mike Salakis. Yeah, I mean, listen, you know, they're all getting crushed. Some of the famous chefs. I mean, a lot of the biggest ones in the industry had to shut down a lot of them. You know, it's, it's going to be a really, really big heart. This coronavirus, like I said, is a, it's just been a disaster. It's a disaster. I just hope whoever, if it's, if it's Biden or Trump, you know, my opinion is I hope they get the money back. All these trillions of dollars everyone lost from if they find out if they really is trying to really is to blame for it. But someone's got to, there's, there's got to be some type of uh, consequences regarding about what happened because it really is affecting everyone's lives. But anyway, that's, you know, that, you know, as, as a, tr as looking what's going on, I'm looking at is, you know, what's going to be a long, what's going to be a short, you know, and, and so on. There's a lot of them out there. We got to keep an eye on that. Uh, Daniel, we all feel bad for the owners. It, it's just terrible. Small business. I don't want to, I don't want to cross any toes, but it is really terrible for them. They're really, really struggling for a long time. Uh, Robert says 10 people. I'm one of the, I'm one of the kids and my niece and nephews. I will have to sit outside. <laughs> well, actually, that was actually the recommendation. It says, listen, if you're going to have Thanksgiving, no matter what the weather is, just do it outside. Uh, I haven't felt full blessed yet. All right. Well, anyway, this is great. Thanksgiving Zoom. Yeah, we could do that, Wayne. We could do, we could have Thanksgiving on Zoom. You know, we could do that too. Uh, that'd be pretty funny. We actually, you know, it's funny you say that. We actually did a, uh, not a Zoom, but we did a, uh, we used our iPhone. We, we played. Uh, you guys ever played the game left, uh, left, right, center? You ever played left, right, center? That is got. That's the funnest game when you have a group of people. Left, right, center. Does everybody know what I'm talking about? It's like the dice. It's like you know, and you'll put in a dollar, and it goes left, right, center. You got to get that game. It's probably one of the best games I have ever to play. It's just hysterical. Got to got to get that game. Left, right, center. Anyway, let's get right to the stock market because. Uh, we're looking at a down market right now. We're down about 200 points. There are a couple of stocks out there. Yesterday, unfortunately, it, the, the pre-market stunk. But once the market opened up, these things just kind of just took off out of nowhere. So we had, actually, yesterday was a really good day to trade. And like I said, you know, you're here in the morning. You hear you logged in. You kind of say, hey, you know what? Really not that much going on. It wasn't a good, a, a good pre-market as much. But you know what? Some of those stocks that we did trade did take off. And they did really, really, really well. So let's go. Before we do that, let's just talk about what what did move yesterday. We did have a couple of stocks out here that did move. We had the plug. The plug is just an animal. My God, this thing just won't stop. Plug. It was a great run up yesterday. I took a. 
I, I, um, I got caught on a shake on this stock. Unfortunately, I bought it at a, uh, at a high at resistance levels. And you know, one of the rules is that, you know, you, you got to try to put work with your limit orders. So um, this stock was the only loss I had. But then in the afternoon, I mean, I made my money in the morning, so I was done. I didn't trade the afternoon. But I know everyone jumped in the afternoon after 2 o'clock. You can see this thing right from 22 to 23. And I'm sitting here kicking my butt because uh, I had the stock at 22 and I sold at 21 and a half because I saw that big reversal there. But sure enough, thing you know, really, really strong. Still, keep an eye on that. That plug. Now, listen, remember what I always tell you. You want to be a good swing trade. You want to learn how to options trade. You damn well better learn how to day trade first. That's the most important thing. That's how you find stocks when they go from 14 to 16. You're like, holy crap, why didn't I? You know, we day traded at 16 and then 17. Says, so, you know what? Maybe, maybe I'll hold it as a swing trade. It's, it keeps breaking higher highs, and that's how you do it. So anyway, we'll talk a little bit about that. Uh, what else we got? We traded PLT was another one that had a really nice little pop yesterday. Nothing great, but you know that one was okay. PL, uh, PLTR that also was just an a rocket yesterday and you know what she's going back on the watch list again she's not a um she's not on the a list she's gonna be on my b list but pltr is just you know just a just kept trending up and trending up and trending up and trending up so now it became a swing trade that's how you swing trade we saw the stock we you know a lot of you remember we traded this in our phase three class and you know it was at 11 and then 12 look where it is now it's at 16 you know and it still is not showing any any sign of uh, backing off. So what else that we had? So yeah, so anyway, a lot of COVID stocks were doing pretty, uh, that also we traded yesterday, CRNE. Was another one that had a nice little move, BXTR, which obviously, you know, for some people, another stock had a nice little push yesterday. You can see it went from four to almost $5. Uh, and there were other stuff out there, but you know what? That, that's what happened yesterday. Let's focus on today. There are a couple of stocks. I want to start with the B list. I want to start with the B list, not the A list. Okay. You know my wedding list? If, if the A people don't show up, then I'll invite the B list. You know? So let's, let's start off with the A list. All right. So let's see what we got going on here on our A list. So anyway, this one's still going back on my list. Um, this one actually is on my A list. Okay. So because this one's been a fun stock. Let's start with the B list. I, uh, I am AC. All right, so I found this one this morning, gapped up 100%. Um, it, you could see right, 101% right now. The stock was a really nice stock. We traded it back in April. It was one of those short squeeze stocks. It ran from a buck fifty to $5. Um, she's kind of flatlined right here. She's kind of just gapped up a little bit. But I'll see how she opens up. You can see on the right-hand side, when we're looking at the level three, there's a lot of, there's a lot of, you know, algorithm stocks look at those orders 10,000 5,000 6,000 54,000 I mean they're all over the 41,000 so it's gonna take a lot to move this stock I mean really think of it some of you probably new here and watching this maybe watching the archive whatever but like 6.5 million shares traded and it's not even 9 30 yet you know what I mean we're only 10 minutes we got 20 minutes to go so that's a lot of our volume that's trading in pre-market so it takes a lot to move this one S I and oh, another one that's gonna be on my B list. Listen, there were stocks on the B list that turned to be on the A list once the market opens up. So don't, you don't, don't look at this like, oh, it's not one of his favorite. They're there. I put them out there because they might do nothing here in pre-market. All of a sudden, the thing just popped. Okay, like the EDRY, e that was on my B list, and all of a sudden, the thing just popped on us in about ten minutes ago. So we're, we're gonna talk about that. But keep an eye on the SINO. There's another stock up 40, 46%. She's up pretty nicely right here. Nice spread. Not as bad. Now, if you look on the right-hand side, level three. On the level three, it's not as bad as IMAX. You know, IMAX, you know, uh, as in all the algorithms. But it's but it's it's got it's got some nice movement. One million shares traded, which is I kind of like to trade a little bit better. ZCMD. Okay, another one that's here moving in a pre-market of 49%. Um, another stock that we traded back in August or September was it went from 250 to $5. You know, it's it's got decent volume. She's kind of flat, not terrible with the algos in this stock right here. 
but she, you can see she just got some significant buyers. I see a 10,000 share buyer at 250, um, a couple of 5,000 share buys. Not really big sellers out there that I'm seeing, which is pretty a good sign. So uh, I, I want to keep an eye on this one. CELH, another one that's pushing up pretty nicely, making all time highs. 60,000 shares, small tier sizes, big spread. We're talking about a category three or higher. I won't know until she opens up. So remember, there's a lot of stocks. We say it all the time. We find a lot of stocks that are moving in the market. Not all of them uh, are what's called tradable. Remember, we're going to be starting phase one, everybody here at in, in, in cyber trade, all the cyber traders. You know that it's, I always tell everybody this. When you become a student at Cyber Trade University and you finally say, you know, I want to do this. I want to learn from you guys. I see, yeah, I see what you're doing. I see people making money doing it. And then you do take the first lesson of the class. I tell everybody this, you are going to wish you never made the trades that you made. When you learn the most important thing, which is kindergarten stuff. But to us, it's the most important thing. There's the three T's, tradable trend and trap. When you find the stock is not tradable, you're going to see like, why would I even trade this thing? This thing is like ridiculous. You got to make sure you know what category you're in or whatever. Um, because the only thing is they move faster and you can lose it a lot faster. Remember, we don't look about making money. We worry about controlling the losses is what we, wanna, what we focus on. Uh, PLTR, which we already know about, that's on phase two. All right, uh, uh, category two. So let's go jump over here on category one stocks, all right? Everyone that's on uh, the A list. It was EDRY. Okay, so we know about that one. She had this huge pop. I don't know what happened around uh, at 850. She went from 10, went from 1020 all the way up to about 1220. And now she's starting to back off. You could see right away, this is a stock that we traded back in... Um, August, uh, September 2, it ran from 4 to 13 in one day. Can you imagine that? That is what you call a typical, you know, uh, short squeeze. But anyway, I like short squeezes. I like them. Don't say, well, that's dangerous. The only reason why it's dangerous because no one ever taught you how to trade them. But we love short squeezes. We just don't get cocky and greedy and try to think we're going to buy it at 4 and sell it at 13. So that one to keep an eye on. PXS is another one that made my A list of 43%. Nice spread, nice trend. Volume is not super crazy. 2.5 million already trading pre-market. A couple of algos here and there. You know, we I could see. So we'll keep an eye on that one. I already told you about this one, the VXRT. That one we're going to keep an eye on. This one's moving really, really nicely. I like this stock because she took a major hit. And now it could be what's called a bottom fish. So this stock, you could see it really just starting to trend back up a little bit. I think this one is probably a very, very nice trending stock. Um, nice volume. It's not up huge, which is I like, you know, but I will keep an eye on this one. And last one is Jaws, okay? And I'm not talking about the movie Jaws, all right? JWS. By the way, um, I don't know if you guys know this, but this is something I was taught in the beginning. I'm like, why do you call like symbols like, you know, uh, Eldery or Suno? You know, we just spell what the four letters are. We don't know the names of the company. We really don't care. That's just a, so somebody like, why do you like to say what the names are? That's just basically how we were trained here at Cyber Trading uh, I, when I was a market maker. So some people like, uh, like, how'd you get that name? Like, that's not really like IMAC. It's not, IMAC is not I-M-A-C. It's another name. That's just, just something how we call them out. Somebody brought that up. They're like, you know, brought it up. So I just want to share with you. I thought it was pretty funny. But um, but anyway, Jaws, nice little moving stock. Trending up pretty nicely. Public not too long ago. And you could see that uh, it's starting to trend up a little bit. I, I still like the other one better. But uh, but this one looks pretty good. Now, anything else uh, that I'm missing out? Uh, a couple of people here just put in the chat room. Sorry to miss it. Gene, uh, which one? Where are you? Where are you? Gene says the FP... RX. Okay. So you made a buck on that stock. There you go. Nice. You know what? I saw this stock earlier. She just a must have, she must have just moved. Okay. And that could happen. All right. Uh, you could see she's right here. She's right here on the number six list. Um, she can go on my A list all of a sudden. I, you know what? She must have just came. You know what? That's why you're a part of Cyber Train versus remember why I told you that when we invite you into the room. And who we select and who we don't select. Because remember, a lot of people really don't qualify to be in here. 
we're a team effort. You're not gonna, you're not gonna share your your thoughts and your and your your dreams. You're not, we're not the right fit for you. So it's all a team effort. And thanks, you know, you and you actually made pretty, made a lot of money, Gene. I'm gonna give him a round of applause. Applause. He just made himself a buck on that trade. Way to go, Gene. Remember, a lot of these stocks, I always say all the time, they don't all move. We always find a new list, you know, that comes up out of nowhere. So let's see what how it plans out. Remember, Thursdays is probably, if you do your statistics, it's one of the best days to trade. So we got that. Now, uh, before we go, I just want to share a couple of things with everybody. Uh, there's a couple of big events that are going on right now that are going to be going on today. Let me just go just slide this over here so everybody can see it here on YouTube. So basically, um, today we have open house at 12 o'clock. Uh, I'll be I'm gonna be a guest speaker at a multi-speaker event at 11. And then uh my good friend Tom Sosnoff from Tasty Works, the founder of Think or Swim, is going to be coming on. I um, mean, knowing him for almost it's gotta be almost 15, 18 years now. Uh, great friend of mine. So if you guys want to know about options, you want to know, you want to you want to be able to ask questions to one of the one of the master, you know, one of the great masterminds of trading. He's going to be here on Tuesday, November 17th. So we got a busy week for you guys. And let me tell you, this is the best time to trade. You got to learn before you can earn. All right, everybody. Good luck. Be safe. And we'll see you back here at 12 o'clock uh, for the open house.